Hey, what's up guys? So I want to talk today about how quant trading firms are using AI to try to get an edge on the market. So last year when it really became abundantly clear that AI was going to disrupt, well, every industry, our CEO at this tier one trading firm sort of panicked and decided, oh, we got to catch up. So we started an entire AI department and invested a ton of money into it. And we uh, recruited away all these AI experts from Google and other places. And so we even had a Forbes 30 under 30 AI thought leader that was working for us. And so we were really pumping money into this department. We did see some big leaps forward in how the firm is utilizing AI. For example, every developer was given some AI based code assistant a GitHub Copilot, such that we can utilize the latest AI technology to write our code for us. You saw AI kind of like a chatbot-like type system. Those kind of systems were being utilized. For example, in the past, we would have to ask HR questions about how does, how does business travel work? What about PTO? Do I get two more PTO days every year? And the AI was trained on all that information, scoured through all of our PDF files and documents. And so it knew the answers to all those things. So we had like an AI chatbot that would basically answer all those questions. And it would answer them pretty well. Basically, you saw a streamlining process like that happening across the firm. Even in the front office, you saw a good amount of improvement like that happening. But aside from areas like that, where you saw some gradual improvement in how we can streamline processes, the area I think people watching this video and people in general are most curious about is how AI can be used for alpha generation and trade execution. Basically the most important part of trading, the parts of trading that makes the most money. The short answer to that is AI was not really that useful in that space. And I'm not saying AI won't be useful in the future, but at present, it wasn't quite there yet. There's two primary reasons. One, AI still hallucinates. Even the best AI still hallucinates. And you simply can't have AI hallucinating when executing trades for you. As you know, with the whole Knight Capital debacle and you know multiple other trading firms that have lost tons of money off of one bad trade, if the trading system ever makes a mistake, that could be the end of your firm. And so any code that gets released to production level is pristine and it's been code reviewed very carefully by multiple people. And it's rolled out very carefully under high levels of scrutiny. So that's one reason. The other reason is that for AI to be able to make suggestions and push for evolutions to your existing trading algorithms, it needs to understand all of your code base well. And so you need to give it access to your whole code base and all of your proprietary white papers. So by combining all of that knowledge, it can piece everything together and have a map of how your entire trading strategy works. Basically train on all that information and then make new suggestions for you. Once the leadership at the firm fully understood this, the reason that it's too big of a risk for the firm to take to allow one entity to have so much knowledge about the firm for most people who don't know, IP theft is a major concern at quant trading firms. If someone successfully steals your IP, that could basically be the end of your firm. Even the partners don't always get access to the full tech stack. As best as they can, they'll try to limit the code bases that you're allowed to access and compartmentalize it so that no one person ever has access to the entire big picture. It's a major risk to let AI have access to all of your code at once. Basically, they decided that risk isn't worth it. After they've stood up all of the uh, supplemental AI assistant tooling, chatbots, that help answer questions. They basically downsized that AI department by a lot and only left a handful of people there to sort of maintain the existing AI tech stack. And they, they sort of gave up on these ambitions to use AI to, to improve their trading algorithms themselves. And so some people might have disagreed with the CEO's decision there and being risk averse, but I actually think his decision was wise. And it's because there are already people who have successfully stolen a lot of IP from that firm and other firms. And that's why these trading firms have so many smaller spin-offs. A lot of them started their firm by stealing a lot of the IP, and then they started their new firm. And you see court cases over things like that, like uh, Citadel with Ken Griffin and most big trading firms like Akuna, spun off from Optiver. And most big trading firms have a ton of small spin-offs and a lot of those small spin-offs end up eating the lunch of the bigger firm 
or, or taking an increasing percentage of the market share. So a lot of trading firms after COVID, they stopped making as much money. And the reason for that is because during COVID, a lot of these firms were forced to let everyone work from home, including quant researchers, quant devs, and traders who get access to the IP protected code base. And so while they did everything they could to make it hard for IP thieves to steal code in office, like they disable the drivers to the uh, USB key ports so people can't easily download code and put it onto a USB key. Now that they suddenly had everyone working from home, some of those guys could just take their cell phone and just take pictures of the code. Just scroll down, take another picture, scroll down, take another picture, and then use some kind of OCR, optical character recognition tooling to just take those images and then convert all the code back into text characters. And so no matter how much in-house spyware type stuff you have installed on your work computers to make sure even at home people aren't stealing code, like emailing it to, the, to their external email addresses and things like that, definitely they're, they're, they're stalking you and making sure that you don't do things like that. But they can't do anything against people taking pictures of the code with their smartphone. Unfortunately for these firms, this was just thrust upon them. COVID was just thrust upon them. They didn't have a chance to prepare. For, for this scenario. And it's not like they were gonna tell everyone to not work on developing the IP protected code base because that's the most important part of the code base. That's the bread and butter of the firm. So, so they just had to take that chance. And you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of bad people out there and a lot of people stole IP. So yeah, you're seeing a lot of major trading firms now that are just unable to make as much money as they were making before, a few years after COVID. And they're trying to make people come back to the office now, but it's a little too little too late. A lot of those people stole the IP already and they're using the same strategies to pull tons of money out of the market. But instead of having 700 to 1,000 employees, there are five to 10 people startups that have 90% of the trading algorithm of you know these, these bigger firms. And so these firms are now fighting to keep their piece of the pie. So the CEO's concerns about IP theft were valid. That very much limited the ability of trading firms to utilize AI to its fullest potential. But that's part of being a, a CEO, right? You have to weigh the, the risks against the rewards. And <laughs> I think his decision was wise, though probably too little too late. So yeah, I'm not saying in the future you're not gonna see trading firms utilize AI for alpha generation. I'm sure there's tons of people already doing that. I'm sure there's AIs that scan Twitter for sentiment about the market and have a more intuitive feel about, oh, this Elon Musk tweet got this many likes, that means the market's gonna do this or a Tesla's gonna do that. I'm sure there's, those algorithms are way more sophisticated now. So that kind of utilization of AI to capture alpha in, an, in a trading algorithm, I'm sure that something like that would work and other utilization of AI could work in terms of uh, generating alpha for trading. But for these big established trading firms, that have proprietary code bases. I don't think that at present they're utilizing AI for that most cutting edge frontier of their trading development. I think they're mainly just using it as an assistant to expedite and streamline their, their processes and make the firm run more productively. And like most other industries, to eliminate the entry level employees who are basically just doing more kind of rote memorization based job functions. That's the type of things that's, that's way more easy to automate away, right? And in that way, I think the, the way AI is impacted quant trading has been sort of similar to big tech or other adjacent industries. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions or if you disagree in the comments. Take care.